Cannon Busters is an anime that really doesn't deserve a review, but I'll make it anyway because somebody wanted me to and I have nothing else better to do. But the TLDW of it all is that this show is garbage and it's absolutely not worth anyone's time. I never really watched it. I put it on English dub and I did work in the background, but from what I can grasp from 12 episodes is that the characters in this show are so unequivocally bad and generic, complexity doesn't explain how unasymmetrical they are as characters, and they're terribly written. The world of Cannon Busters is somewhat interesting, however the characters are so unremarkable and the complete opposite of interesting that it affects the dialogue because the characters have nothing to chat about because they are fundamentally boring. To loosely explain, Billy the Kid is an immortal and every time he dies he gets a number on his body, however because the character is immortal, he is free from consequence, and because he is immortal, he'll never feel guilt about anything he does. When you're human, your time is limited, and what we do might affect our futures and there is regret and there's guilt over some actions we take because our time is limited and we all die, but because Philly is immortal, he can wait a few decades or so and get over it because nothing he really does matters, and he understands that the universe is fatalistically flawed, and no matter what he does to anyone, they'll die, but he'll still be there. I'm saying this all aloud because this character's backstory is that his family was killed by a king of Robot City or something like that, and he wants revenge, so he kidnaps Sam, the princess's robot bodyguard, so he can get close to the king's son, which is the prince, and assassinate him, which is supposed to make the king mad but the king's dead but he doesn't really know that at that time so his entire point is that he wants revenge but he can't get revenge because the king's dead yada 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 and when we get to episode 12 he doesn't do it because as the character puts it revenge ain't even worth it man but if he truly didn't care about anything, he would have just shot the kid and just walked away, but he didn't because the story needs him to story and there needs to be a season 2 because there'll probably be a season 2. But as a reviewer, I have an obligation to inform you that this anime's revelation comes at a complete left field in episode 7 or 6. Despite the character being immortal, he sleepwalks through life, and there's literally nothing going on with this character throughout the entire anime. I remind you, this character is immortal. He outlives everyone he meets. Therefore, and by extension, there is literally nothing this character cares for. He's just a vagabond that roams around the world doing whatever he does, and we see the consequences of his actions. However, the effects of those consequences aren't long-lasting due to the very fact that he's immortal, he can't die, and he doesn't feel anything due to the very fact that he has no attachments to anyone or anything. So when a character comes out of nowhere and says, Oh, it's Philly the Kid. Oh man, he killed my granddad, so I'm here for revenge. And he gets shot a couple times, and you know, he falls down, he gets back up, and he just walks it off and he kills the guy in the story. Moving along to other characters, you have Sam. She's an altruistic robot who does the right thing because that's what the storytellers want, and she's a robot and she's programmed to do the right thing because that's what the story author wanted. And she needs a reason to kill someone, then does that, and doesn't have a cause for moral conflict within her programming or an existential crisis or a search for meaning because that's what the story does. It removes the meaning from everything and makes it literally non-existent. Then you have another character called Cassie. He's just a stupid robot that's around for comic relief until he does have an existential crisis and he tries to commit suicide and I was actually hoping he did kill himself because something actually interesting would happen in the story. But before he's about to get crushed by the giant machine, the Sam character comes completely out of nowhere and finds him in a giant junkyard and saves his life, gives him self-validation, and his existential crisis is over as he finds meaning in being the main character's plaything. And I almost forgot the second B plot, the political aspects of this entire anime. So the entire B plot of this anime is that in Robot City, there's this political coup happening. Ultimately, what happens is they trade an aristocratic system for an authoritarian Nazi-like system. So basically, there's these robots that have free will and basically to ensure that they continue to have free will, they enslave a bunch of people because that makes sense. Anyway, the prince is trying to get to a fortress, they get to the fortress, and bada bing, bada boom, the robots show up, and then the main character shows up, everyone shows up, there's a big battle, the end. Overall, this anime is dog duty, 3 out of 10, it's not worth watching, and this anime is completely out of gas, and there's nothing distinctively special about it. The world can be interesting at times, but the story isn't driven by the lore, it's driven by these stupid brain-dead characters.